Hello. Hi, good evening everybody. Good evening fellow Zongans. This is Annie Kinyantu, a member of the Zambia together. I've been in the hospital since the 7th. Yeah, I came in with a uh, COVID and uh, my uh, my oxygen my oxygen levels were so down. I've been uh, unwell since Christmas time and like always as Africans we've been uh, like scared to come to the hospital I've been taking other concoctions like steaming myself drinking a uh, lemon ginger garlic and all those things that we believe in but then my heart started feeling so painful it was hard to breathe <clears throat> and um, you know those concoctions are good but they're good I think for those that are not ill it's good to take them but if you're not feeling too well please seek medical advice I was really really down I could not eat I could only test if it's sweet or salty I could not smell. Excuse me. Yeah. I could not smell. I was just drinking plenty. Then my friend said, one of my a friend of a friend is a Zimbabwean surgeon. He told my friend, said, please tell your friend to dial nine 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 and go to the hospital. And that's exactly what I did. So I dialed a triple one. And um, as I was talking to them, now on the 2nd of January, I went to the center for testing because then I was feeling dizzy. And I was feeling like the muscles were contracting, you know, like a pregnant contraction. So it would like contract. For three minutes and let go just from the shoulders going down to the legs the muscles would contract and it will let go after three minutes three minutes will contract again and let go it was so painful and uh, then i would feel cold the cord not on the skin the cord will go directly onto the bone marrow oh god i'll drink hot cup nothing i'll put on the warmest pajamas nothing i'll put the heating on full blast nothing the cold was too much then um, second on the fourth my result came out i tested positive and uh, i was still at home i called my gp the gp said no just stay home and keep taking care of yourself so i I um on the seventh that's when I quickly called triple one. Triple one just asking me questions. The pain on the heart, you know like I feel the heart like was swollen. So when I'm breathing, it's like the heart is touching on the heart wall. And the pain was so severe. So the rest of the cord was gone now, the contraction of the muscles was gone. The pain was just on the muscles now. On the on the heart so when I'm taking a deep breath it was painful breathing out was painful so I was like no when I explained to the 111 they said nope we transfer you to 999 so that's how they put the ambulance team on the on the phone and as I was talking to them immediately the ambulance was in the door they quickly came in the house they did a quick CPR, 
We said, nah, we need to rush you to the hospital. And that's how I was rushing to the hospital. They quickly did the safety, uh, said, no, the COVID has like, spread onto the heart. They did uh, the scan. We said, yeah, there is some COVID surrounding the heart. Immediately they put me on a um, steroids, antibiotics through the drip. And uh, the next day, they took me through, through to CT eye scan. So I went through the CT eye scan. And uh, they asked me not to sleep through the belly. Even just sleeping with my tummy flat was also another painful thing to do. So, I don't know why this has gone off. Yeah, so they had to bring the specialist to come and turn me facing down. So the doctors wanted me to face down so that if there's anything in the lungs, it should come through. It will clear off with the, with the steroids. And that's how <coughs> I've been asked now to sleep on the side and sleep on the belly. And yeah, that was what happened yesterday. And since I've been in the hospital now, at least I've been hungry. I can smell the food now. I can taste the food and I'm eating constantly. I just thank God. Thank God. Now my question or my advice to the people out there who are scared of going to the hospital. Please, can you imagine all this treatment I've gotten? I wouldn't have got all this through just drinking lemon. I'm not discouraging from drinking those herbs. But please, those should be for the people who are healthy now. Yeah, drink in the morning. Drink your lemon and whatever concoction, afternoon and evening. But when you're ill, please, 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 please go to the hospital. The hospital mat is a Queen Alexandra Hospital in Portsmouth. The team are amazing. We've got trainee doctors, we've got senior consultant, we've got trainee nurses, we've got all sort of teams and they're all happy to help. They're all saying they would rather be at hospital and help than staying at home because it's all locked down. So what's there to do at home? They're all happy to be here. They're happy to be here to help us. Please, please, please go and seek medical advice. That's all I can say for now. God bless you. I'm Annie. Thank you. Bye.